Look at these posts that we're seeing today on Twitter, how people are reacting to Donald Trump's brother dying. And it's, it's a, people were reacting when E.J. Cummings died. Those that are commenting in a negative way, in a pessimistic way, they are feeling good in the moment. It's like taking a shot of, of cocaine. You feel good, but in the long term, you don't realize that you are damaging your body. Think about what's happening inside the brain of all of these posts that I had just shown. Neuroscience studies demonstrating what happens in the mind of a pessimist. We choose our brains take control and we make negative comments. In the description of this video, I will have links to all these studies so you can further study and find out for yourselves. So in reality, everyone that made a negative comment and a hateful comment, either against Elijah Cummings or Donald Trump, has just increased the likelihood for their body to not fight off the flu or COVID in the next few months. And you're thinking, what is he talking about? Well, let me explain what happens in the brain when you choose to allow your atomic nervous system to take charge and make negative pessimistic comments towards something that contradicts your values and beliefs. Well, let's look at it first. This is the brain of someone who made a negative comment. Is The stimuli enters into their mind and they're going to begin to analyze it, but they're not going to spend much time analyzing it because, because and I may pronounce this wrong, the, the caudate, caudate, I think it's caudate nuclei, which is this whole area right here, is the what's really firing up, has a lot of energy going on when they see this information and it, and it enters into the right side of the prefrontal cortex to begin to get analyzed. And the, the, uh, the amygdala, it's a small almond shaped piece in there, which is your fight for flight, starts looking at the information and starts analyzing and sending signals to the, the prefrontal cortex saying, hey, ignore any reasoning, ignore any logic. We need to hate him. Who cares? A child of God has just died. Let's focus on all the negative that they had done. Now, why am I saying less of a defense against COVID and the flu and stuff like that? So what is happening at that time is that pessimistic people, when they're focusing on the negative and the fight for flight turns on, the sympathetic nervous system kicks in and begins to activate multiple hormones secreting from all the glands, sending unnecessary hormones to a variety of organs when they don't really need it. And that constant secretion of hormones will do damage to the body, to the cardiovascular system, to the stomach, to the respiratory system, to the liver, and it weakens the body's ability to fight off viruses. And so that is why a constant negative comments could harm your health but there is a way there's a way to prevent that and it's 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 difficult to do because the brain is hardwired and it's been hardwired from birth until now and it's not so much what your parents teach you what social media teaches you your your reliance to go to fox news or cnn because you you love to be manipulated by their agenda um, and their framing of the stories because it feeds your confirmation bias and releases that dopamine but you can find a way to stop that. And your motivation, it's, it's hard to find the motivation. Maybe your motivation wouldn't be because I want to show love. I am a Christian, but I continue to hate, show hate against those that don't um, follow my values. Maybe you cannot find that love, but maybe you are selfish and you want to be healthy. You want to be old enough to, to live with your grandchildren, play with your grandchildren. So that is the reason. That should be your motivation if you can't find love. Your motivation to stop hateful comments against someone who dies that does not follow your beliefs. Don't don't say, well, that's not how he react. It's like my children. Well, so and so did this. These comments are all childish. That's what children say. Why did you why did you slap her? Well, because she did this. Well, that is everything that people are doing on social media. And if you cannot bring yourself to love others, bring yourself to love yourself. You are killing your body slowly. When you allow yourself to be pessimistic and do you want to know there's help out there there's a way to change it and so studies have shown that through conducting mindfulness mindfulness training strengthens portions of the prefrontal cortex and makes it stronger to be able to combat against the automatic thoughts that are going to happen from from this region and it's been proven to help and then also i've talked about cognitive behavioral therapy 
There's, there's cognitive bias management that you can do as well that's going to help you. And so it's going to be very difficult to rewire your brain to show love for those that uh, contradict your beliefs. But at least do it because you want to live longer and enjoy your grandchildren. Because when you're making these comments, it's hurting your brain. It's hurting your body. It's really, it's causing unnecessary stress and anxiety. And I have personally found that this helps. And I want to share this joy with everybody else. And I think I might, when I see comments, negative comments, I think I want to help the person. I want to reach out and say, hey, in a loving way, I mean, please try this. Um, please attempt to say good stuff. And in the long run, you might eventually learn to love your enemies. Um, but for the moment, why don't you love yourself by being more optimistic so you can reduce the amount of stress in your life.